Good morning, 3M and 3L. I hope you're having a great week. Start off with our morning message. Follow along with me. Good morning, scholars. Today is Thursday, June 4th, 2020. For our special activity today, we will exercise. Have an incredible day. Love, Miss Meyer and Mrs. Lawrence. Okay, boys and girls. Today's activity is gym. So we're going to do this quick hit workout. Okay. This is a part of your physical education and health packet. So you can get participation points doing it. Just make sure that you send a picture or a video. All right. Okay. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is 20 seconds of high knees. When we do high knees, we bring our knee up to our belly. Okay. Put on the timer for 20 seconds. And we're just going to lift both our knees one at a time up to our belly. Ready? That. Go. Higher. Get your knees up. Nice job. Five more seconds. Ooh, nice job, boys and girls. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is 20 seconds of climbers or mountain climbers. All right. So when we do this, <clears throat> put our body in a push up position and then we kind of lift. Our legs up like we're climbing or something. 20 seconds. Ready? Okay, stop. Keep going. Faster. Put your legs up. Good job. Okay. All right. The next thing we're going to do is a 20 second plank. It's like we did planks the other day. We're going to do another one on our hands for 20 seconds. Ready? Make sure your back is straight. Stuff. Okay, you can take a break for a second if you need to. And then we're going to do um, twenty seconds of jumping jacks. Then we'll do twenty seconds of punches, and then twenty seconds of squat hold punches. Okay, you ready? Let's do some jumping jacks. Okay. Nice job, boys and girls. All right, we have two more exercises. Punches. So we're going to stand with our feet shoulder width apart and we're going to punch. Okay, you want to make sure when you punch, your thumb is out. Okay, if you put it inside, you can actually hurt your thumb. So keep your thumb on the outside. <coughs> okay, ready? Nice job. Punch, 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 punch. Ten more seconds. Mm. 
Okay, stop. Okay, last activity, we're gonna do that same thing, but this time we're gonna squat while we do it. So we're gonna go like this. Squat down, hold your squat, and then punch. Okay? Go. You can punch to the side, punch to the other side, but keep your body low. Nice job. Ten more seconds. Okay, boys and girls, you did awesome doing that exercise. If you would like to, you know we haven't done this in a while, but if you haven't checked out Flipgrid, I want you to go on and try. It's really fun. Okay, you can see videos of your classmates and Miss Meyer, Miss Lawrence, Miss Medeiros. Okay, if you go to flipgrid.com slash AFACB338, you can do our um, PE challenge, okay? And you just type in your ID as your name, and then 2029, okay, your first name, and then 2029 is your password. All right. Make sure you drink water after you exercise or um, while you exercise, okay? I'm just going to get a sip of my Gatorade, and I'll get a story for us to read. Okay, it's important to stay hydrated, right? Okay, we've read the story before, but we're gonna read it again. It's called Amazing Grace by Mary Hoffman, illustrated by Caroline Finch. We haven't read the story since probably November or so, the beginning of the year, right? Okay. Do you remember what it's about? Let's see. This is the cover page. Grace was a girl who loved stories. She didn't mind if they were read to her or told to her or made up in her own head. She didn't care if they were just from books or movies or out of Nana's long memory. Grace just loved stories. And after she had heard them, and sometimes while they were still going on, Grace would act them out, and she always gave herself the most exciting part. Grace went into battle as Joan of Arc and wove a wicked web as Anasty, Anas, Anansi the spider. She hid inside the wooden horse at the gates of Troy. She went exploring for lost kingdoms. She sailed the seven seas with a peg leg and a parrot. Grace has a wonderful imagination, doesn't she? That looks like a lot of fun. This is something you could do while you're at home. He was Aladdin, rubbing his magic lamp to make the genie appear. And Mowgli in the backyard jungle. Most of all, Grace loved to act out adventure stories and fairy tales. When there was no one else around, Grace played the parts herself. She set out to seek her fortune with no companion but her trusty cat, and it found a city with streets paved in gold. Sometimes she could get Ma and Nana to join in when they weren't too busy. Then she was Dr. Grace, and their lives were in her hands. One 
One day, Grace's teacher said they would do a play, Peter Pan. Grace knew who she wanted to be. When she raised her hand, Raj said, you can't be Peter. That's a boy's name. But Grace kept her hand up. You can't be Peter, whispered Natalie. He isn't black. But Grace kept her hand up. All right, said the teacher. Lots of you want to be Peter. So we'll have the auditions next week to choose parts. She gave them the words to learn. We've talked about this a little bit, boys and girls in class, right? What do you think? Can Grace be Peter? When Grace got home, she seemed sad. What's the matter? asked Ma. Raj said I couldn't be Peter Pan because I'm a girl. That just shows what Raj knows, said Ma. A girl can be Peter Pan if she wants to. That's right, boys and girls. A girl can be Peter Pan. Grace cheered up. Then later, she remembered something else. Natalie says, I can't be Peter Pan because I'm black, she said. Ma looked angry, but before she could speak, Nana said, it seems Natalie is another one who don't know nothing. You can be anything you want, Grace, if you put your mind to it. Nana's right, too. You can do anything you want. Doesn't matter the color of your skin or your gender, whether you're a boy or a girl, right? I think Grace was really brave to continue to raise her hand, wasn't she? Even though her friends weren't so supportive. On Saturday, Nana told Grace they were going out. In the afternoon, they caught a bus and a train into town. Nana took Grace to, to a grand theater. The sign outside read, Rosalie Wilkins in Romeo and Juliet in sparkling lights. Are we going to the ballet, Nana? asked Grace. We are, honey. But first, I want you to look at this picture. Grace looked up and saw a beautiful young ballerina in a tutu. Above the dancer, it said, stunning new Juliet. Why do you think her Nana brought her to see this play, this ballet? Maybe to inspire her, right? Yeah. That one is little Rosalie from back home in Trinidad, said Nana. Her granny and me grew up together on the island. She's always asking me, do I want tickets to see her Rosalie dance? So this time, I said yes. After the ballet, Grace played the part of Juliet, dancing around her room in her imaginary tutu. I can be anything I want, she thought. On Monday, the class met for auditions to choose who was best for each part. When it was Grace's turn to be Peter, she knew exactly what to do and all the words to say. She had been Peter Pan all weekend. She took a deep breath and imagined herself flying. When it was time to vote, the class chose Raj to be Captain Hook and Natalie to be Wendy. There was no doubt who would be Peter Pan. Everyone voted for Grace. You were fantastic, Natalie whispered. Looks like all of Grace's practicing paid off. And her friends learned that she kind of showed them, right, that anyone can be anything they want. And they, they said, wow, Grace, you're really great. What a beautiful costume. The play was a big success and Grace was an amazing Peter Pan. After it was all over, she said, I feel as if I could fly all the way home. You probably could, said Ma. Yes, said Nana. If Grace put her mind to it, she can do anything she wants.
What's your favorite part about her costume? I like the green tutu and I like the wings she has. The end. Thanks for listening, boys and girls. Try to remember this lesson that we learned. It's really important. Thanks for listening. Bye.